G'day, this is Shay, and welcome back to Life in the Woods. Look, I've got some friends. They're so ex they're so happy there. I've got lots of cows. I've been breeding them up, and I've got some things to show you. But I kind of have to uh, move this way so that you don't see what it is that I've done. <laughs> So basically, in here is I've got a bucket and I've got some wheat. It's just everything like prepared. So we get some milk here and we get some milk from this one. I've got to kind of remember which ones I've got milk from so that I don't double up. Oh, where did the other bucket go? Oh, they're both in there. Okay. This one. Hello. Hello. And we get lots of buckets of milk. And this is great because. With the buckets of milk, I can make so many more recipes. So, yeah. Or you might have just got a glimpse of what I've got there in the corner. But hopefully, hopefully I didn't give too much away. It's quite exciting. And then I've only got two pieces of wheat, so I'm going to feed two, pe two cows, and they're hopefully going to make babies. So, yeah. These, these cows are never going to die. They're going to stay here. I'm going to breed them up to make lots of milk. And yeah, that's pretty much all they're gonna do. I have only one sheep, but I will be getting wool from my adventures and making beds. Because as you all know, making going on adventures, um, having a bed is very important. Um, because if you die, then you can respawn back at your bed. But if you break your bed, of course, you have to spawn back at spawn. And I have no idea where spawn is. So yes, now I've got lots of rice here, but they grow super slow super super slow so 43 percent that's probably the highest amount that i've got but i've managed to use some compost on them and that grows them a little bit more i don't have many bones i managed to get myself some fish yay that's exciting and also before i start getting starving hungry let's have a look we've got okay i'm gonna make curry 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 rice and i just have to check i need a saucepan okay that's important, I guess, getting a saucepan, and I've got one of those. But first of all, we have to get a juicer and juice some coconuts. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Delicious. And we get the saucepan, and we put some rice in here, and some salt, and some spice leaves, and some chili. And we've got some curry rice, and this is a nourishing large meal. So when we're starving, going, oh my goodness, what have I done? I can um, use the curry rice to to satiate myself which is really exciting now this uh oh this uh fresh milk see now i've got 51 buckets of fresh milk that's amazing and so useful too oops i forgot to put my buckets back but we can do that on the way also in here i've also got some cornflakes <laughs> cornflakes are just made with corn and sugar and milk i think yeah so oh it's nearly night time so it's probably time to sleep good morning so how are you guys doing today it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's like, what, March already? And almost the end of March? Oh my goodness, things have been happening. And as you can see, I've been collecting dark wood, and you'll see what that's for. That's why I've got a big forest over here. These have all grown, which looks kind of cool. Gives a bit, bit of a backdrop. The sunshine doesn't get through that easily, unfortunately. So I might have to do something about that. Ta-da! What? This is my house? Is this it? Well, it's not finished. But anyway, this is red granite cobblestone, and you can't use a chisel on it. That's pretty much, uh, if you use a chisel on it, then it'll just turn into cobblestone. So this is the way it's going to stay. I really wanted to have some kind of um, stone that I could chisel and put little designs on and stuff. It's a little bit of a pain, but I'm, I've just fallen in love with red granite, and that's the, that's the stone that I'm using for my house here at this base. I might have a base somewhere. Oh, somewhere else um, in this space here I've got plans and there's, there's a little sort of sort of a valley or gully over there that I have um, some big plans for which will involve you guys my viewers so keep an eye out for that possibly the next episode once I get onto my adventures I am so keen to get out of here I've been cooped up in this little area trying to make sure that I can survive in the outside world but I am haggling for adventure so look at this it looks like this is um, carpenter stairs, but it's made out of blue schist, and it looks like water almost. It's kind of clever. Bit dark in here, but I've set up with a couple of things. Not very much. Um, I absolutely love these um, shelves. 
they look pretty cool but eventually I'm gonna put it in here I'm not sure not all this window not all of these windows will stay here in fact I'll probably raise it up so the windows are up here or something and maybe I might chisel some of these roof things not sure but um, I'm going to set up uh, my kitchen in here with storage drawers storage drawers is one of my favorite mods and it looks like this storage storage drawers so my favorite ones are the the two by two you can also get one by two or um, the normal just drawers like that but I prefer the two by two you can put four things in one drawer and you can store up to eight stacks which is pretty cool um hard when you've got things that only stack <laughs> like four things in a stack like some foods and stuff so I'll be using chests for things like that but for um, a lot of ingredients storage drawers are awesome because you can just tap the storage drawer and pull out whatever that you need so yeah that's my thing okay so oh veggie bait that reminds me um down here I've made lots of veggie bait veggie bait is great because if you have oh, look I'm starving curry rice oh, look at that saturation amazing oh my gosh I'm so full now happy happy little me um, we will stick veggie bait in here. Veggie bait is great because it only takes string, which I now have because of the, um, the ferns. Um, you can make veggie bait out of veggies, and I've got lots of them. And you can bring in lots of animals. Well, I don't know. I feel a bit barbaric still because I said that I wasn't going to kill animals, but there ends up being chicken in here and and leather and eggs and feathers and oh my goodness so I don't really know I don't know what do you think guys do you think that that's that's sort of staying with the idea of not killing animals is having a trap there <laughs> they're not physically dying and I'm not getting experience from having killed it so I don't know what do you think you think that's okay now another thing that I had a look at which looks pretty cool with regards to doing decoration was this now a piece of garden soil is made by putting dirt in here with compost and you have a piece of garden soil and I'll get I'll make some more later but I'll just you just show you what exactly it does it's a piece of garden soil there I'll make it even and put one on the other side because we like everything to be like that um, and then we get a oh I need a um, one of these an ingot and a stick and we're going to make a garden trowel which are not very useful for anything else except for this I think goes round this way no maybe it's this way uh, maybe it's this way ah there we go garden trowel <laughs> I knew it was one way or the other <laughs> I hate it when that happens don't you and then you right click on it and you have this little grid and basically when you highlight one of the squares it shows you what you can put in there so I can put any one of these things let's put a violet no wait let's put a violet around the outside on this one and in the middle we'll put this one what's this a sixth since lily look at that it's like one little garden inside a garden i love it here's a northern willow herb let's put that in the middle and then put different colored ones around the outside i think put an allium in there and that one i wonder how that one would turn out because it's quite a large one when you look at it and hang on let's put something else let's put this one just the poppy there we go look at that what's in the middle there the willow herb I might change that for that one see what that oh that's better look at that little gardens that is so cute don't throw away the trowel so that's at the big the bottom of my stairs and with my chisel I'm going to oh oh no I lost it okay we're gonna have to do this differently hmm okay um one of these one two three four five six okay what should we do this one here we go now I've ruined one of my stairs I'm so sad here we go look at that I love it oh I'm gonna have to change these over for something else but what we can do actually it's one of another another one of the reasons why I bought my trowel not my trowel yes my chisel was that you can break these down if they don't grow grass on them too quickly you can actually do that super quick before they change into growing grass hmm. what do you think like that 
I don't know. But anyway, what I was thinking of doing is making the similar path with the um, basic uh, soil and doing it down here. And instead of going across my garden <laughs> to get to my other base, I was going, or at least to my um, animals, I was making this all a path, except that's going to take a little bit longer than I have right now. Although, mm, no, I won't do it on camera because I want to do other stuff, more interesting stuff. Let's get rid of this. I can't, I've actually got a pillar up here to get rid of those vines, but they keep growing down over here. I'll be very glad to get into my house and away from this area. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Life in the woods. Shakira. That's me. Okay, so um, I think what we might need to do is make some um, carpenter stairs and do it in the same material and have it come down here and then yeah like this and then have a little uh, pathway going this way like that pathway going there behind behind the gardening area that's gonna look quite cool yeah so coming down here and with stairs and stuff Okay, I will get the carpenter stairs organized and I'll be right back with you. I am starving, but not for long. Look at this. Oops, I'm not going to eat my iron shovel. Curry rice. Hmm. I don't think I need to fill up anymore. That's all good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So come up this way and I've got some stairs on me. Here we go do the stair thing so like that like that Ooh, noises telling me stuff stuff that I don't really understand and not really paying attention to <laughs> and then we come around here oh whoops, come around this way and down here kind of works don't you reckon uh, not that far not that close we'll stick that there and that here and then that there that there that there that looks kind of cool and bump 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 ba -dum, bump bump there we go cool and now we need a little path to go this way but to do that I wonder if we need a hoe hoe here's a hoe it's kind of almost run out I don't want to use too many of my hoes because the problem with hoes is that they oops could just see that coming you know what I mean the problem with hose is that they run out really quickly so hopefully this is not too close to water whoops I got some seeds cool and the chisel whoops like that see isn't that cool lots of seeds flying everywhere which is amazing because I do need seeds and this one Hmm. <laughs> Put your head on the heavens. Oopsie. Don't grow. Don't grow grass, please. I probably should do little bits at a time. There we go. A path. I love it. Up to my house. Ah, oh, it's so dark in here. I hate how dark it is. Yeah, it's shaders though. That's just what happens. There we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. One, two. Oh, uh, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one. Here we go. Oops, wrong one. Oh, I did that one too many times. Mm, that one. Yeah, I'm just doing it the first one because I can't be bothered trying to figure out one to do it for. Oh, this is so satisfying. You know what I mean? Oh no, it grew. Damn it. There we go. I love it. It's almost like kind of like Mediterranean or something. And I choose dark wood for the roof, but I'm kind of almost regretting it because it's too dark. Hmm. All right. This, this episode is the episode to start our adventure. I'm going to go make some more food and get some supplies and we're going to go off an adventure. And I think that way if i can remember rightly there's a bit of water in that direction so i'm going to need to make some boats as well <sighs> i've been waiting for this moment for a long time and i feel that we're ready so we'll be back starting our adventure
And here we go. Look what I just found. Believe it or not, I had absolutely no more sugar cane left at my base because I used it to make sugar, <laughs> which, you know, which is kind of what you actually use sugar cane for, right? So anyway, the reason why I got the sugar cane is because I, oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a floating, um, crafting table okay so we we need some of this we've only got three pieces of paper but that should be enough let's have a look we need a book that's right the book was for the burlap <laughs> we're gonna go vacant book <laughs> so we're gonna do this and this and we have a book and we're gonna stick a compass in here and we have an empty antique atlas this can go bye bye and then antique atlas is pretty much our only way of navigating around this world so let's have a little look inside here we are this is us and our base is i think somewhere over here i should probably mark where the base is but anyway it's it's just it's just over there can we see it from here not really but it's kind of behind that hill there so i'm just going to mark this little place here how far do you think we would have gone maybe maybe around oh, i'm just gonna put it here base it's a bit hard. I don't really want to have to go all the way back. That's the problem. Oh, no, not that one. Base is going to be that one. Although that's also the one for village. How about we do that? Yeah. So that's my base. Yay! So we have... We have an antique atlas, which means... Now we can adventure and actually see where the heck we're going. Oh, berry, berries, berries. Okay, we... I have a couple of... I have three... Uh, three three backpacks one is for supplies one is for food and one is for resources check this out guys look i've been busy making food <laughs> look at these beef wellington it's a feast a feast so you know we're not gonna die hopefully and if we do oh my goodness okay so we're gonna collect as many berry bushes along the way as possible we'll just put that back there how's our hunger doing we're okay oh what is this quartzite that's a new one oh, look at that up there um, that's a new one. I haven't seen quartzite before. I've seen, of course, red, the red granite cobblestone, which is what we made my, which is what I made my house out of. And look, I have diamonds. I have a diamond pick. I went caving because I was, I needed, I needed diamond, obviously, um, because I wanted to, I want to make a crafting, no, an enchantment table when we get back. Um, that's definitely a thing. So I, what's this? Lignite. So I made, um, I got a whole bunch of diamonds, about 10 diamonds when I was caving. I don't really want to do that on camera because it's so boring. Um, but I found some and I also made a pick because pick, you know, if I want obsidian, then I need to get um, a diamond pick. I also got some obsidian. So in one of the next episodes when we get back home, we're going to make a, um, a portal into the nether because... That's definitely a thing. Okay, so we're coming upon some pretty amazing looking terrain here. All very, hmm, all very wild looking and hilly. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think spawn was over that direction. I know there's a big area of water. <gasps> duck! Oops. It's a duck. Look, it's a real live duck. Does it say duck? Oh, oh where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Come, oh, he's running. Oh, hello. He's another one. It actually says duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so you guys can get up there. So I guess I just... Oh, really? I just have to follow you. How are you getting up there? You're getting up there pretty well. I guess this is your home. You would know how to get up here. Look what I just found. I found some more um, ferns. These are the ferns that we bone meal to make them bigger than the jute, which is a way of getting... Um, uh, burlap, which is an alternative for, oh look, berry garden, yay, which is an alternative for the leather, um, and I don't know, I've already got three bags on me, but having as many bags as possible would be kind of cool, hey, grass, um, yeah, so one of them is, oh, what is this, you're a pine sap, okay, so I'm going to leave my little bed here, leave my little bed here with a little, here we go, so I can see my way. So what biome are we in? We're in a deciduous forest. Looks very deciduous. There's lots of trees. And I know one of the things about deciduous forests is lots of plants, obviously. But um, sometimes you can get little hidden gems in the deciduous forest. And so we're going to keep an eye out for little hidden gems. Depends on how, depends on how, oh, what's this? 
chanterelle. It depends how big this biome is, because some of the biomes obviously are not going to be as big as others. So we're just going to keep a lookout for anything. It looks a little bit unusual. Time to eat. We must remember to eat. That's <laughs> very important. I'm going to look at our antic atlas and see exactly where we are. Oh, oh, we're way over here in the middle of the forest. There's like a big forest here. Okay, how far does this forest go? Okay, so if we go in this direction and kind of come out this way, that looks like, that looks like a good place to be. My boat! It's going! Okay, so I hopped in a boat and then I hopped off because I saw some more bamboo and I thought that would be good to pick up. I'm on the beach right now, but I was in the temperate rainforest, which sounds very exciting, but yeah, temperate rainforest. I'm like, ooh, this is a furlock. A furlock? Hmm, interesting. It looks, it looks different. I don't know. What do you reckon? I don't know what, what would it be like if we did, hang on a minute supplies if we put down a crafting table which i've actually not got anymore <laughs> i must have left my crafting table at my last sleeping area that was not a good idea anyway okay so if we did this and then we did this what kind of planks mm, just green what is this a shell flower oh must have been something i accidentally picked up somewhere so these are great this makes lots of bamboo and she can make different things out of as well but the best thing for bamboo is for the compost and compost is cool because you can grow things faster <gasps> pumpkins <laughs> there just happens to be pumpkins here and look this in my little my treasures box I call it treasures because it wasn't really resources a lollipop plant isn't that bizarre and we've got a parrot's beak that's so cool. And a bird of paradise. Such pretty flowers. Imagine adding that to my game. So the reason why I've been sort of adventuring a little bit without recording was because I was in a forest back there and the game was lagging so badly and then all of a sudden it just kept on crashing. And it's something to do with memory. Memory is going a bit crazy. So I'm going to have to look into increasing memory. What is that? scaly tree fern increasing memory so that um it doesn't happen anymore because i want to be able to go into the big deciduous forest because you know there might be things in there that are explorable and i don't want to miss anything you know what i mean i'm a girl who doesn't want to miss anything ever ever okay oh what is that that's a uh, devil's tongue oh such interesting and creative ways of naming plants i love it so we've got a devil's tongue hmm let's put that in our treasures bag Excuse me, I had to cough there. <laughs> a bit of a cough. Okay, so we've got treasures. We're actually filling this up all with like plant life, which is not quite what I wanted to do. I found this this random shrimp just appeared in my inventory before, so I'm going to eat that. And we've got some stuffed eggplant, which is like I think it's a meal, so it's going to fill me up all the way. Yay, awesome. I just can't get over how much stuff is here. Look, this is a voodoo lily. They're so like strange looking it's amazing and look there's so many different types of bamboo here this is a tropical blue bamboo oh it's so pretty i love it imagine the things that you could make out of this like i probably wouldn't actually use that for my compost i'd probably do something with it and use it to design or yeah something pretty because it looks it's a nice color and oopsie i didn't need to do that and what is this this is a rich richia trichophilia yeah okay <laughs> nothing not as interesting as some of the other stuff I've seen. There was something. Oh, what was that? Oh, was that you, sheep? Goodness me, you gave me such a fright. This bamboo here is golden bamboo. That's a new one. I don't have that one. They're so big. Look at them. All for me, showering and raining bamboo. It's a bamboo storm thing. <laughs> Whatever. So a very useful thing to do while adventuring out is to collect as much wool as possible so that I can make a bed and that I don't have to pick up the bed when I leave that area that I can just leave there because if I die you know the drill guys you know you know the thing so anyway I've just come across oh, more flax that's flax oh a sunflower and I got what did I get sunflower seeds or something ah uh, well how did I get the whole sunflower that's bizarre I think I have to I think I have to get it from the bottom of the stalk, possibly. That's when I didn't do that, so that'll be a thing. What are these? Carrots? Carrots? Yum. Okay, anyway, so 
it looks like there's this big forest area here but I end up losing frames quite dramatically so I don't really want to go back in there there's plenty of other places I can explore unfortunately I have come to the end of the road and this means I'm going to have to cross the ocean so I'm going to do that but this is the end of the episode and I think it's pretty good we've started our adventure I'm going to do oh some fruit. I'm going to do a couple of episodes like this of just adventuring and finding and discovering stuff because I know, oh look, I know that we can definitely find some things in this world that are pretty amazing. Like that. That, my friends, is a whale. It's so pretty. Is you stuck in the coral reef? Oh, poor whale. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Get ready for some more adventure in life in the woods. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe and even just chuck a comment down in the comment section below because I'd love to hear what you have to say. And remember, I always make an effort to reply to anybody who comments on my videos as long as there aren't too many. <laughs> but in any case, have an awesome day, guys, and we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.